Hello, this is a presentation of how to apply, remove and adjust a traction splint. A traction splint is used to immobilize a mid-shaft femur fracture. The traction splint comes into a pouch that contains the following items. An ankle hitch, an upper thigh support system, a tension bar with a strap attached, and two other straps, one for the ankle, one for the thigh. All the straps form the traffic light system. Before applying a traction splint, always make sure that the patient's limb is neurovascular intact and has a good color, pulse and sensation. This is a very painful procedure, so make sure that your patient has had enough analgesia, has had a nerve block or has been sedated. This is a two-person procedure. The first person that applies the splint and the second one, which is normally a doctor, will apply the traction. Start by applying the ankle hitch first, making sure that it is tight enough. Loop the black strap onto the heel. Remember to adjust the straps so the yellow one is longer than the red. The thigh strap goes under the patient's knee and slides up as far as possible on the thigh, making sure the gaps for the bar stay on the outside of the leg. The strap needs to be at an angle. Clip and tighten as much as possible. The bar needs to be measured for the patient's leg. The black line on the bottom of the pole needs to be measured against the patient's ankle. Adjust, then fit the bar in the top gaps first. Then attach the yellow thigh strap above the knee. The yellow tag at the bottom of the system goes on the black triangle at the end of the traction bar. Pull the red tag until tight. Traction should be applied until desired tension. Attach the red thigh strap, sliding it from behind the knee. The red and the yellow straps should go above and below the affected area. Then attach the green strap. Check for the traffic light system to check it is in a correct position. To adjust, simply loosen the straps and reposition. When adjusting the traction splint, always make sure you leave free space to expose the affected area. Make sure that there is enough pressure relief underneath the traction splint. Materials that you can use to relieve pressure are cotton wool, a piece of colouring cough foam, cave soft or gauze. To remove a traction splint, Start by removing the red strap and the green strap. Loosen the yellow strap and remove the tension from the ankle hitch. Remove the tension bar from the top gaps then remove the upper thigh support system. Lastly, remove the ankle hitch. The Kendrick traction splint used in this video, shown on the right hand side, comes in an orange pouch. The application of the straps follow the traffic light system. The groin strap is blue and the ankle hitch has colored tags, red and yellow. In some cases, you will have to work with a Prometheus splint that comes in a blue pouch as shown on the left hand side. The straps, including the one for the groin, are all black in colour, but come with labels to demonstrate their position. The ankle hitch also has red and yellow tags similar to the Kendrick splint.